Hello Twin Flames, it's Monday the 24th of April today. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels and I'm really excited to bring in one of my favourite decks of cards today, the Archangel Michael Sword of Light by Radley Valentine. So we're going to use this amazing deck to bring in an energy for the feminine, the masculine, the journey. So thank you angels. What do we need to know for the Divine Feminines today? Jump straight out. Well, this is the most important card. And then I've got two on the floor. So I'm going to take them as well. The energy around the Divine Masculines today. What do we need to know? Again, two cards here. Powerful. And the energy around the journey. What do we need to know for the journey today? Jumping straight on the camera there. Another two cards. And these messages are getting more and more powerful every day. So let's see what we need to know. So the energy around the feminine today. We've got... Deeper insights are at hand. Now, this is the main message. The other two are clarifiers. Now, this really resonates with yesterday's message because we got the inner voice coming through. And this says deeper insights are at hand. So in other words, there's more knowledge coming to you. There's more wisdom, more understanding ahead. And this is coming to you from your angels and your guides. Your overall plan is good but the details need work. Reflect before moving forward. So what you're being shown here is things are still falling into place in your life. Things are still being divinely orchestrated by heaven. So the overall plan is good. In other words, you're nearly there and you could be thinking about union. You could be thinking about something you're manifesting, something you're desiring, but something needs a little bit of work. The details need work. So the message here is have patience because everything is moving forward and everything is working out. It's just taking a tiny bit more time. And that's why you've got recognize the signs from above because you're receiving signs that your journey is manifesting, that your twin is moving towards you, that things are happening angels are sending you messages now but you're too distracted to notice stay alert and open to divine guidance so when we've been shown the signs but we don't see them we're in our head which means we're distracted by the ego or we're too close to the situation to see it properly or operating in pain or fear or we're struggling with what's gone on in the past or we're thinking too much about the future so the message is breathe and come back into the now to recognize the signs. And the signs come to you to buoy your faith, to give you power. And look at this. We've got have no fear. And when I'm looking at that card, I'm feeling have faith. Have no fear, have faith. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. So Divine Feminine Archangel Michael is with you today and he is helping you to move out of fear, to be fearless on your journey, to trust the signs you see, to believe that this is possible for you and that things are happening now. And it's a great day to have this energy flowing in as you start a new week because if we start the week as we mean to go on, it's going to bring in power. So Archangel Michael is saying there's going to be signs thrust in your direction this week. You're going to see signs that this journey is real, that your dreams are manifesting. So give it the time it needs to manifest. And the energy around the masculine, we've got two cards. We've got, oh, look at this. All is in perfect timing. The doors are opening. And this is really powerful because I haven't recorded it yet, but I'm going to be using the Gateway Oracle for the Daily Angel reading today, which I'm really excited about. And I'm seeing there as gateways opening, doors opening. And I spoke about this over the weekend, you know, that the doors are opening now. Even my back door stuck and someone came out and fixed it so the door would open. So the angels are reminding you as a divine feminine that your journey is in perfect timing. And the masculine is saying, this is it. It's time for me to take action now. And the angels will help them every step of the way. And I really feel the masculines are making the right decisions now. They're making the right choices. They're doing the right thing. They want to fix it and mend it and sort it out. So the angels are saying to you, this is it. It is happening. So have faith in the timing. So masculines know it's time to take action and they need to do it now. Some of the masculines are going to be reaching out today or they're going to be changing things today. They could be bringing things out into the open today in their situation. And that's because they've been praying from their heart. And 
In 2023, they have assistance. I feel this could be a grandmother or even a mother around someone watching over the situation. Prayer really can move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. So we keep getting this message about miracles coming in. Miracles coming into the connection in 2023. But we have to pray from the heart. And I feel the masculines have really been praying. They may not be aware of that or the way they've been doing it, but they've been asking for help. And I definitely feel there's a grandmother or an ascended master, a female ascended master around the masculines. I'm even getting the queen coming through for someone here. If you look at that card, doesn't she look like the queen? Very powerful. So this is about them taking back their sovereignty, taking back their power to be able to reach out to you, to their heart's desire and watch the miracles unfold. And the angels are guiding them to do so. So the energy around the connection, again, we've got two cards. We've got take control of your thoughts. So great message today. So divine feminine, take control of your thoughts, especially between now and the end of the month, because thoughts become things. So if you want your masculine to reach out to you and be more loving and open, then think loving, kind, gentle, open thoughts instead of thinking negative thoughts. And I feel this is the masculines taking control of their thoughts so they're able to express them. Your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. So focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Focus on being with your twin and having the life of your dreams and being positive instead of focusing on the when, the how and all the ifs and buts and whens because that's up to the universe. Let the universe deal with that. Step out of the way so the universe can step in. And remember, thoughts become things. If we go there in the mind, we go there in the body. If you hold it in your head, you hold it in your heart, you'll go there in the body. So we've also got to step into the spotlight. And this is about things moving forward. I'm really, I'm getting this energy of between now and the end of April. You know, things happening and changing, coming out into the open, stepping into the spotlight. You have a message that the world needs to hear. It's time to share your wisdom. And I'm really feeling that for the masculines, this is about them coming out into the open, about their truth, about changes they want to make, expressing themselves, coming out into the energy of who they are. And I feel for some same-sex twin flames, that could even be about them stepping out and becoming their authentic self, telling people who they are, especially if they've been, you know, living a life where they've been in a straight connection. They're coming out now as their true self and you're a big part of that. I feel this is also a message for feminines to share your wisdom. Maybe you're being guided to start your own YouTube channel or put your information out there on a platform and I mean, you know, sharing your light. So you may be doing that through Facebook or Instagram, sharing messages, readings, guidance, enlightenment about what this journey is and things moving forward. The spotlight is you two coming out into the open so you can show the world that you are together and you are a team and that you are powerful and that you are a power couple and the angels are working behind the scenes to make this happen. So you have a message the world needs to hear. Remember that. That's why you've come. That's why you go through everything you go through because you gain knowledge and wisdom along the way. And right now, today, it's time to share your wisdom. So a great week to think about how to move forward with service, with wisdom, with light, to work your light in your way every day. And I feel you're being guided what to do. So I definitely feel the angels, Archangel Honiel, bringing in peace. Obviously, Archangel Michael giving you strength. But I'm also feeling Archangel Uriel illuminating you and illuminating your twin to the next steps. And they give me fear, releasing fear because doors are open, magical doors, magical doors are open to your dreams. And make sure you watch the Daily Angel reading for this day, which I'm going to record in a second. That'll be posted later on because that's going to also give you some messages about this day. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.